Hello, Actives. This is David Brown. I'm joined for this scientific advisory call with Dr. Brett Earle, who's a member of our advisory board. We're grateful to have him with us today and glad that all of you can join us as well. We think that we're going to be providing some information that will benefit you and your families. And uh, we're looking forward to talking about some items that are sure to be of interest for you. So, Dr. Earle, thanks for joining us. Hey, glad to, glad to be here and thanks for having me. You know, we are doing this in remote locations, not because either one of us are particularly concerned about um, uh, the social distance that we have from each other, but that seems to be the norm these days, that we're doing a lot of things uh, remotely. And uh, that's one of the things that I'd like for us to talk about today is COVID-19, this novel form of coronavirus. And since you're the doctor, um, maybe you could give people a little bit of information uh, I know there's a lot of information, some of it is misinformation out there, but maybe you could tell us a little bit about uh, what COVID-19 is, how it differs from, from other uh, viruses that are out there. Yeah, so interesting. Um, one of the key points is that it's named COVID-19 because there are 18 other coronaviruses out there. Um, there's actually seven other coronavirus, uh, uh, coronaviruses, so it's a family of viruses that actually infects us as humans. The rest infect uh, various animals, if you will. And so the, the big key to keep in mind is that the coronaviruses have been around for a long time. This isn't anything new. This is just um, a, a, new, a new version of that, of that virus, if you will. And for most of the population, it provides um, little to no symptoms or you have a little bit of a cold. Um, this is the standard for most coronaviruses. The, uh, the big key difference with this is that it's different enough from the other coronaviruses that our immune systems, if they are not working at peak performance, um, may let it slip past, if you will, and cause more serious, um, serious illness. And that's one of the key components is patients, uh, if you will, or um, people in the public whose immune systems aren't necessarily um, optimized and working the way that they should, they're susceptible to this disease becoming more serious. Well, thank you for that. We are all aware of various viruses. We know that the world is a pretty dangerous place, and uh, we often talk about cold and flu season um, that um, put all of us at risk to some degree or another, and unfortunately, uh, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of people die. Um, from the flu um, every year. Um, but as you say, it seems to be the most concerning thing about this is, number one, we haven't seen this exact form of a coronavirus before. And number two, unlike the flu, we don't have any vaccines. We don't have any um, idea for sure about um, if it's going to show seasonality as things get warmer. So there's a lot of, a lot of concern out there. But you mentioned something very, very important, I think, uh, Dr. Earl, and that is uh, we don't have a vaccine. Uh, we're practicing social distancing, which is, you know, keeping our distance from people. Um, but we can't control whether or not uh, ultimately we're exposed. But from, from, tell us again the importance of the immune system, both in warding off uh, that or any other disease and or if we do uh, contract it, how, an immune, how a strong immune system is very important to help uh, make sure that our body recovers and is not damaged too, too much by it. Well, and think about this. Um, the reality is vaccines have only been available to us for a few, a few decades. The reality is for millennia, uh, the way that we as a human race, as human beings, if you will, fought off disease was with a robust immune system. And, and so we were fighting off coronavirus well before any kind of vaccine came along. We were fighting off influenza. We were fighting off a lot of these different diseases with our amazing, miraculous immune system. And so as I look at the best way you know, to, to combat this, and, and, and there's a lot of hype, and a lot of media out there, and a lot of fear that's, that's out there. As, as I look at what is, is really available, we need to focus on what we can do. We need to focus on those things that, that really make a difference right now. And, and that's really improving our immune system. And, and providing it with the best opportunity to fight off this disease. That's what we can do. And I think if we focus on that, we'll take away a lot of the stress and concern and fear and, and so forth that's out there 
because we'll know we're doing what we can to, to deal with the virus. A, a vaccine, you know, they're, they're skipping animal trials and they're going right to human trials and they're doing, but they're still talking that that's a year and a half off. And, and even then, you know, most vaccines, if you look at the influenza vaccine, it really has a, a hit or miss um, success rate. But with our immune system, if our immune system is up and running, it has a hit immune uh, or response almost every time. We're fighting off disease all the time. And, and this will be, uh, again, if we prepare ourselves, we'll be no different. We'll step up to the plate. We'll uh, engage the coronavirus with an intact and uh, able immune system. And, uh, and we will win. So there's a lot of uh, suggestions out there that um, things, people and institutions like the Centers for Disease Control, um, Harvard Medical School, met many doctors are, are talking about this role of the immune system. And they're saying things like, um, it's important for us to get proper sleep. It's important for us to have a good diet with lots of uh, fruits and vegetables. It's important for us to get proper exercise. It's important for us to, to have social interaction, even if we're at a distance. Um, and those type of, and, and reducing stress, things like meditation um, and, and things like that all play a role in strengthening our immune system. And I think, you know, it reminds me of, of the old adage that everything we, we really need to know in life, we learned in kindergarten, all of those things, getting a good <laughs> night's rest, eating the right foods, exercise, those are things that our mothers have been telling us for a long time and doctors. But at Actives, we have a couple of, a, a few other weapons at our disposal that, um, uh, that everyone else has not been, has not been um, uh, introduced to yet. And that's part of our, our challenge and our opportunity. But maybe you can speak for a few minutes about those steps everyone can take and this specifically, how the Actives trivecta of Optimand, of Link, and of Genomics, how those can each um, be very effective weapons in our arsenal uh, to attack these bad guys and also protect us from, from damage for us and our families. Well, really, when you talk about a lot of these different components, we're looking, you know, with, um, with the proper um, um, diet and, and supplements and, and washing your hands and doing those little things, if you will. Um, those are trying to give your, your immune system the, the building blocks that it needs, the, the, the warriors, if you will, the pieces that it needs to engage in battle and really succeed. Well, one of the other things that uh, plays a role in any any type of, of engagement from the immune system is it can it be solely engaged in one thing or does it have to start looking at all of the different components that are going on? Is it distracted? And that's, that's really the way to think about it. And if the immune system, I mean, think about if I was having this conversation with David and I'm looking off to the side, pretty soon it becomes annoying, but the reality is you start to tune now because it seems like Dr. Earl's not engaged. And that's really a great analogy for what happens with our immune system. If it's over here looking at another disease or having to deal with bad food choices, or it doesn't have the, the components that it needs in order to fight off the infection, it's distracted. And that gives the, the COVID-19 an opportunity to come in, move in, set up shop and wreak havoc. And so it, it, from that standpoint, it, part of it comes down to distractibility. And so being able to keep your immune system focused on doing what it does best uh, really can play a key role. Now, all of that said, certainly some of the components with, um, with actives help us not only with distractibility, but also directly affect the immune system. So let's start with LINK. Um, LINK is um, based, its core is butyric acid, and obviously we understand we have the Psylocke and Dex key technology and so forth to really deliver it where it needs to go, which is amazing. Um, and, and what that does is it pre prepares the first line of defense in our, in our digestive system. It really makes it so that that, that that initial wall is intact. Those cells that line our digestive system are super happy when they get their preferred food source. And so that first wall provides a barrier so then our immune system doesn't have to come in and clean up the mess of food particles or other infections or what have you coming in and, and distracting it. 
So from that standpoint, link is very important. Link is also important because it actually works as an anti-inflammatory in our, in our bodies. So it will help cut down the amount of inflammation that our body has to deal with. Again, too much inflammation over here and an infection moves in from the other side. And so the, the link a, um, actively helps reduce the inflammation and allows our immune system to focus on what it needs to do. And then the third very critical component that link provides, we know that butyric acid through um, tons of research is an immune modulator. A modulator means that it affects the, uh, the immune system. And, and here's what's fascinating. If your immune system is hyperactive and it's going crazy, butyric acid can help calm it down. It's, it really works to balance. And if your immune system is low and sluggish, butyric acid can help bring that back up. So it really is an amazing molecule from that standpoint. Second component, we're talking about Optimend. Its core is a turmeric based. Turmeric has been shown to be an, a wonderful anti-inflammatory. One of the best, if not the best. The challenge has been getting that turmeric into the body where it can really, really work its magic. And um, again, hello, Psylocke and Dex key technology, allowing us to absorb that turmeric in, in, uh, in a bioavailable form where it can really um, do what it needs to do, which again, not only creates, uh, decreases the inflammation, so it's the inf immune system's not distracted and the infection moves in, but turmeric is also an immune modulator. So we, now we've got the, you know, this do dual action, if you will, helping our immune system not be distracted, fight off disease, and become appropriately active, which is very important. And then last, genomics. Genomics actually is one of the more powerful um, anti-inflammatories at a cellular level. It really helps tone down inflammation at a cellular level. And so that means it also works to help our body's immune system react, react quickly, and fight off disease when we're prevented, when, when it's presented to us. And here's another thing to keep in mind. With all of these protections and everything that they are putting into place, they're not planning on preventing people um, from being exposed to COVID-19. They're trying to prolong the exposure rate. Right now, if it goes according to its normal form, it is, its, its exposure rate is a very high curve and that will overwhelm the medical system. Um, and they hope with social distancing and those type of things, that um, you will actually then have a curve that's more prolonged. It means still that the same amount of people are exposed, but it means that it's a prolonged exposure where we can deal with it. And again, where we have an opportunity is we have to understand that there's gonna be a prolonged exposure. We need to let our friends, our colleagues, our business partners, our associates know that because of that planned prolonged exposure, we need a plan in place to help their immune systems. Well, hello, actives. Well, thank you for that, doctor. I mean, obviously, uh, COVID-19 is top of the mind for everyone. And as you said, um, we don't know everything about it. Uh, we certainly don't necessarily know how to stop it yet, but the best available data seems to indicate that those that have a strong immune system have the best chance of, of recovering and having very little ill effect because of it. And as you've said, it's not just COVID-19. Each and every day, we are confronted with um, dangers and, and, and substances, uh, toxins, bacteria, fungus, molds, viruses, all of, the, all of which are just waiting out in a very dangerous world <laughs> to see if there's a little toehold that they can get in our immune system and attack us. Right. And if I understand you correctly, when we talk about um, genomics, when we talk about um, link, when we talk about Optimed, all of them have some things in common, which is interesting. All of them are epigenetic, which means that they are affecting cells and genes directly. Um, right. They are all, in their own way, combating inflammation. I think it's very interesting when you say that um, if, our, if we're battling inflammation that's coming from a source other than a virus, maybe it's coming from um, pain, maybe it's coming from 
the foods that we're eating, maybe it's coming from some other source, that, that has weakened the body's defenses that would otherwise be turned to fight against a really bad guy like a virus, right? right? So if we can deal with that chronic everyday inflammation, that is automatically going to fortify our cells and, and leave more resources at the body's disposal to turn on to these really big insults to our health. Is that correct? Yeah, and boy, that's a great way to put it because the reality is you want to start thinking of this differently. You want to start thinking of daily defense. You want to start thinking of daily fortification. So uh, I know a lot of my patients in my clinic, they take Optimend because they're sore, they're hurting, they're inflamed or what have you. And so they'll use it um, sporadically. And I, I, I keep trying to emphasize to them, this is, this is a daily thing that really makes an impact in your life, your health, and your well-being. And now even more important, because the reality is we don't know, okay, is it going to be COVID-19 we're exposed to? Influenza is still out there. Para-influenza is still out there. In fact, I just saw a patient today who was tested and ran all these tests and they were convinced they had COVID-19 and it was, it was one of the para-influenza viruses. So all those are still out there. And so again, just basic daily things that you, you want to take care of to keep yourself healthy, keep your immune system running on all cylinders and, and really make a big difference. Well, three big components of that can be um, the actives trifecta. Well, one thing that we do know is that this pandemic will surely pass as all other pandemics have, but what will not go away are, um, and the reasons that we have an immune system in the first place are, is the fact that we are always going to be confronted with challenges to our health that come in a variety of ways. And, and to me, if one of the good things um, that can arise out of this crisis is what you said earlier, that people really can take control of their health. They can, they can determine the strength to a large degree the, what the strength of their immune system is going to be so that whether it be COVID-19 or just the challenges of everyday life, that their immune system is, is, is robust and strong enough to provide them with, with health and energy and a productive, happy life every day, whether we're dealing with a crisis like this or not. And that to me is something that I think is, is a benefit for those of us that are worried about the here and now, but also are thinking about ourselves and our families for weeks, months, and years ahead. Yeah, and I would echo that as well. And uh, also state that uh, it takes a lot of resources in order to fight off any infection whether that's COVID-19, whether that's a, a food that's into your digestive system that the body just doesn't want there, you know, allergies, what have you. So again, a lot of the times when we see patients and they're exhausted, they have decreased energy and they're trying to do these basic um, life things and they just don't have the energy to do so, it's because the energy is getting spent somewhere else and it's because of distractibility. And so kind of take a look at yourself and say, do I have the energy? Do I have excess energy really to devote to these things? Um, and if not, that may be your wake up call as well to say, okay, clearly I have some energy leaks. Let's start looking at ways we can seal those um, so that my body has the resources to do what, what I need it to do, fight off infection, get through the day, deal with the daily stress. Again, that's a daily, that's a daily choice. It's a daily defense. Um, it makes a big difference to go after that every single day and, and, and capture the day and win. Good. Well, I appreciate that. And I know that everyone here at Actives appreciates not only the things you've spoken to us about tonight, but your ongoing participation with the company. Because it's one thing for a guy like me to talk about products, but for, but for someone that has the medical training and the experience that you have, the way you've seen uh, diseases and health conditions up close and personal, especially uh, in your years as an emergency room doc. And to think that someone like you believes that the Actives products, the Trivecta, can be really important tools in our, in our chest, so to speak, of, of ways to combat this and other problems, that, that says a lot. And I know that everyone appreciates uh, all the support that you give us. Any final words you'd like to give to the Actives family today? Yeah, I would just say, you know, do, do all these basic things. Take a big sigh and, and a, a big breath and, and, you know, get about your days. 
realize, uh, just as, as David said, that this will pass. Um, and, and just focus on the things that you can do. Focus on the things that really make an impact every single day. Take, you know, it was interesting. I saw on Facebook um, that, uh, you know, people were, gonna, were in panic, but then they had this other, other group of people that said, wow, I get to reconnect with my family and friends and, and really um, have this opportunity to strengthen those really tight units. What a great opportunity. And in those tight units, again, now you have a chance, an opportunity to serve, an opportunity to give them something that will make an impact in their lives, prepare them for you know, fighting off the virus you have an opportunity to share with them something that will make a difference. Uh, it's big. Um, there's a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of things and products that frankly don't work. That's, that's my job. I research out things that, that work. I, I wouldn't be here if, if I didn't believe in this and I didn't see the data and the information right in front of me. David knows that. It took me a while to say, wow, this is amazing. Let's go with this. And, and here we are. And I'm glad for it. Well, that same excitement is what you need to take to people that you now contact with or um, are kind of in your, your tight knit circles and say, hey, let me give you this opportunity, not only to help you from a health standpoint, but also a financial standpoint. Wealth is a part of health. It really is a big part. And don't be shy about that. Let them know that you just want to help and share. Well, thank you. I tell people many times, doctor, that you've told me that you think I'm a great guy, but if it wasn't for the science um, and the efficacy of the product, you wouldn't be with us. And I, and I, and I appreciate sure. that. <laughs> well, thanks for everything true. you've said. We look forward to having you on in, in future uh, videos and future chats and all the best to you and your family and all of you at Actives. Uh, I hope that you take the, do the doctor's words um, to heart, that you'll do what you can do, uh, not only in your life, but you'll share and strengthen the lives of others as well. That's what we're all about. Let's go out and activate someone today. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.